And I apologize for the confusion between the meeting start time from 6 to 6.30. But um, I hope this meeting will help you gain some information on both these projects. Um, like I said, I'm the project manager. With me, I have Laura Ingram from our, she's our communication specialist. We also have uh, our team members from our engineering side from Kim Lee Hon. Abhishek, do you want to go ahead and introduce your team? Abhishek, can you hear me? Sorry, forgot to come off the mute, so Jacob has to warn me. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Abhishek Atari. I'm the consultant uh, PM on the Kiambu at Horn Intersection Improvement Project. And uh, um, so we have Jacob and Jake on the uh, on the on this call. And then we have Trent Tidwell, who will be the PM for the uh, um, Brian Durbin. He's uh, unfortunately he's not on the call, so he had like some other conflicts. So. Thank you. Um, and I want to let everyone know that this meeting will be recorded and posted on the city website. So, if you know someone who um, wants to go over the details of the project or anything after the meeting, they could always visit the project website for more information. And um, today we are going over two projects, two intersection improvement projects, the Cambui Boulevard at Bryant Irwin Road and the other project is Cambui Boulevard at Horn Street. Brief agenda that we will be covering in our meeting today. We'll go over the project background, the existing uh, conditions, and the proposed improvements at both the intersections, what the project schedule looks like, and also the adjacent projects that are closer to these intersections. So, uh, coming to the project map, the one in the stars are the proposed. Project that we are going over today. This one is Cambui at Brent Irwin, and the other one is Cambui at Horn. We are right next to I 30 um, on to Cambui. So, this is the intersection of Cambui and Brent Irwin, and this shows us the existing configuration. So, we have uh, two lanes going eastbound, two lanes going westbound, and then we have one single left turn lane here going westbound. And then um, the one going northbound, we have a same lane that's going left and through. And this intersection also has Donnelly that's um, right south of the intersection, very close to it. So we are making some improvements to improve safety uh, of people coming in and out of Donnelly. Those the existing conditions of the street and the traffic signal here. And these are the proposed improvements. Some of the major improvements include in adding a here uh, going westbound. So we will be making improvements to the existing medium that's there on the Cambui right now. We will be cutting it and then adding another lane. Um, so that will have like uh, with the proposed improvements, we'll have two lanes turning left on uh, going westbound. And then we are also making some improvements to the Jack in the Box driveways here on the northeast corner. That is mostly to improve the tra traffic operations and also safety. Um, cars coming in and out of Jack in the Box um, here at the intersection. The other improvement is improving the splitter island on. Adding the splitter island here that's not existing right now. And that will give a proper directional way for people to like go into Donnelly and exit from Donnelly onto Bryant Irwin. Uh, that's kind of like a safety concern. So we will have that splitter island here to improve safety. And then we will also be adding a dedicated northbound left turn lane. So like I said in the previous exhibit, we had two lanes going northbound, and the lane. Um, the left turn lane was also the through lane, but now uh, we will be adding an additional left turn lane that would be um, for left turn. So those are the proposed improvements for Cambui and Bryant Irwin. So this is Cambui and Horn Street in, uh, intersection. 
Um, for this intersection, this is the existing conditions. We have three lanes going eastbound, and then we have left turn and a right turn lane here. We have similar configuration uh, for the traffic going westbound. And we also have some lanes that are too close to the intersection. There's one service road. We have Lock Avenue that's really close here on the northwest corner. We also have and for the traffic going eastbound, once they get uh, just past this intersection, they have like multiple options of either continuing on to Cambui, going on to I-30, taking Rosedale or Lock. So there are multiple streets that um, the Cambui gets divided into right after this intersection. So there were major safety concerns at this intersection that we wanted to address and all um, looking to improvements that would improve traffic operations. Uh, location. So this picture shows the existing condition of the intersection. And these are the proposed improvements that we are uh, planning on doing as a part of this project. So the first improvement that we want to go through is uh, modifying Cambui uh, medians to add the left turn lanes. So similar to the Cambui Brian Durbin one, we will be modifying the medians. Uh, for eastbound and westbound traffic to add additional left turn lane on both directions. And then we will be closing off the Cambuvi service road here and then just improving the pedestrian ramp and sidewalk um, through that location. So that service road will now be closed. And the other one is closing the Rosedale Street entrance to the southeast property here. So we are making some improvements to the driveways here to give more proper direction for traffic going eastbound. Like I said, um, there are multiple roadways divided into right after this intersection. So we are planning on making some median improvements to give more direction for the traffic to get into a proper street. So we will be closing off this median here and pulling over that will provide a proper direction for the traffic to get diverted onto Lock and Rosedale. And then um, with these improvements, I want to specify something that all the properties will still have access. Uh, we are not um, closing away multiple accesses to the property. So we are still maintaining driveways and access to all the properties here on the southeast corner. So everyone will be having access. We are not impacting it um, by a lot. And then uh, median opening between the Rosedale and Lock here, we are trying to align it so that it aligns with the traffic here on the Ferron Street. So the people coming out of Ferron Street could make a right here on Lock and Rosedale. And the final thing is we will be milling and overlaying the home street as a part of this project uh, with everything shown here in blue. Um, other improvements that I wanted to mention that's not over here is the sidewalk improvement. So we are improving sidewalks from lock to horn. Everything that's shown in yellow here on the uh, sorry on the southeast and the southwest corners, and we are also improving uh, drive uh, ADA ramps and sidewalk here along uh, horn and lock and the Cambry service road. I also wanted to mention that we are including another splitter highland here at lock that would provide us a proper turning radius for um, cars going in and out of lock Avenue. And we will also be adding ADA ramps for people to safely cross across lock. Coming to the project schedule, we received 30% design plans based on the scope that it just uh, City is reviewing the plans for uh, both the projects right now. And our 60% submittal for Cambui and Bryant Irwin is due in August of this year. And we are intending to complete our design by the end of this year. Um, and we will bid it out sometime spring of next year. Uh, the construction for this project would take about an year. So we are intending to start construction from April 2024 to complete in 2025. We see that there's um, a lot of time between March, bidding it in March, and then construction starting in April. And that is because Cambui is a textile roadway. So we need um, 
service agreement with TxDOT to give an approval for us to start construction. I see uh, someone raising their hand. Can you unmute yourself? Or question? Yes, this is Dorothy DeBose. Would you go back over and show the traffic as it's going uh, coming out of Como on Horn Street again? So you want to see it, look at the traffic going right. northbound? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I zoom it in, we are adding an additional left turn lane here. So um, that would be a dedicated left turn lane for people going northbound and with the two through lanes here. And then there would be a dedicated like right turn lane for people going right uh, eastbound. Does that answer your question? Yes, 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 it did. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Um, so yes, going over the schedule again. Um, we have almost similar for schedule for Cambodia at home, but some more um, delays to it. Um, so the sixty percent design is due in October of this year, and we are intending to complete the, the design in June of next year. Uh, the the things that would change the design duration for this location is utilities and right of acquisition. So those would be two things that are really important for us to get started on really early to uh, maintain the schedule. Uh, that is why we are showing this delay on the schedule for Cambodia at home. And it has a similar construction schedule of an year. So I wanted to go over the adjacent projects that are closer to this intersection and maybe will be constructed in a similar timeline as this project. And that is, uh, the Horn Street Streetscape project. I'm also the project manager on that project, and it has improvements for pedestrian safety, some traffic signal improvements, and um, beautification elements as part of this project from Lock Avenue to West Wickley and uh, Boulevard. So this project is really close to the intersection of art improvements as part of Cambrian Horn Street intersection would tie into this project uh, going south. We also have a public meeting coming up uh, for the Horn Street Streetscape project, project on July 6th, and that will be held at Como Community Center in person at, um, I think it's at six o'clock. So if you live close by and if you, you would like to attend to know more about the Horn Street project uh, that's coming up, so you can surely attend that. I have a question if you don't mind. Sure. When you say that the turn lane is being added on Horn Street um, to turn on to Camp Bowie, yes. out of, turn, turn, coming out of Como, are they widening that street? No. So the existing Horn Street section is wide enough as is. So once we make the improvements, once we mill and overlay it, I think it will have enough space for us to create that additional left turn lane. Um, the, the, the question might be on the intersection. So yeah, there will be some widening for that addition of the right turn lane at the intersection. But if you are asking for the Horn Street, I don't think we're widening anything, but that will be a separate project. Okay, because you know when you're coming from, let's just say if you're coming I don't know, North, um, South on Horn Street. If you're coming South um, on Horn Street, you you have two lanes. And if both of those lanes, people in the two lanes are coming South into Como, you have to be nice and let the other person in. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's it's two lanes, but by the time you get across that Camp Bowie intersection, one of you have one to line. decide to let the other one go. Yeah, so so on that one, we're kind of trying to eliminate that confusion. So what's gonna happen on that southbound direction on the horn is we'll have a dedicated left turn lane and then we'll have one through lane and we'll have a channelized right turn lane 
uh, through that uh, uh, median island. So they were going to make the separate. So there's like a designated th one through lane, one left turn lane, and one channelized right turn lane now with this uh, proposed improvement. And you have enough room to do all of that? Well, no, we are widening for the channelized right turn lane. Okay, okay, because that was my question is yes. if you're yep. widening. Okay. We are, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then whatever, whatever sorry, uh, so, the, uh, so on that exhibit, whatever is on that blackish color, that's kind of like uh, all the widening. And then the blue is like melon overlay and green is just a landscape area and not, not shaded area is uh, to remain. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Abhishek. Mm -hmm. So that was um, all. That was the end of our presentation. This is the contact information. I'm Shweta Rao. This is my email ID and phone number here. Uh, our project manager from the consultant side for Cambui and Brian Durban is Trent. And this is the email address and phone number. And for Cambui and Horn, it's Abhishek and it's the email ID and phone number again. So that is all I had. Um, Laura, do you see any questions in the chat? Thank you, Swada. I am going to double check again. I do not see any more. Did anyone from the Council District 3 join us or care to make any comments? Okay, I do not see any more, but please feel free to speak up if anyone does have a follow up question. So, are they going to do this all at once and traffic is rerouted or is it 1 lane at a time? Let's just say, um. You're they're not going to do all of it at the same time at that intersection, right? No, uh, we will have access to all direction during construction. Um, there might be some traffic anticipated since we will be closing one lane, like the inside lane or the outside lane, but then um, we haven't reached to that point yet about traffic control and all. Mm. Uh, could you look at that area where you are saying that they're going to direct traffic uh, to Farron Street again? Because that, I didn't think we had a cutaway up there. So you're opening a. Oh, sorry, I didn't get your question. Which location again? It's on, it's, it's on Camp Weird Horn, uh, Sweda, that uh, cut through between Locke and uh, Rosedale. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So there is there is currently a cut through between Locke and Rosedale, which does not line up with the street. So I mean, we're all we're doing is like kind of moving that so that it kind of lines up with the street. Oh, okay. If someone has the aerial open. We can we can probably share. Okay, there's Farron Street. There's Locke. Okay, all right. Okay. So let me ask this, the traffic that was going through straight through on Rosedale will not be able to go down that anymore. They will have to come through favor. Is that what I'm saying? I don't see favor. Favor is to the see Rosedale street. Yeah, here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that I mean they they can turn there. I mean today also. I mean I don't think the existing traffic patterns gonna change. So right now, I mean if they turn on the that cut through and then try to turn fair and like they kind of have to make like two turns. Um, but, okay. I mean now okay. it's this, gonna simplify. Okay. This this uh, I, I'm looking at this line, this dark line where the green is that's still not going to be closed off so you can continue down rosedale street right the green is though the green area shown on this exhibit is where the existing cut through uh, is so we're basically closing that and aligning that aligning that with the street south so so that's that's going to be just the landscape uh, island or just a grass island mm. 
They're going to mess you up. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what is the blue? I see it says close um, Camp Blue Boulevard Service Road at Horn Street. What does that mean, the blue highlighted area? So the blue highlighted area is just the mill and overlay. So that's just uh, we're just uh, removing payment and then I'm putting a new payment in. So not nothing uh, is being done other than the new payment on this area. Um, the black the area is where the white. Yeah. Go ahead, Abhishek. Yeah, and then the black area is where we are kind of doing like a full depth payment or the widening. With this, and I know you all mentioned new signage, will individuals be able to turn left on red from Horn into the uh, into Camp Bowie Boulevard or into Lock Avenue? Say that one more time, like left on uh, red? Yeah, so right now it's no, t no left turn on red going either to Lock or Camp Bowie. Will there be new signage for that so individuals can turn left on Lock? Because sometimes I know that that um, blocks some traffic because people won't turn left on. on Is that um, going left or right? Uh, just making sure. Right, correct, right, right on red. Okay. Yeah, so with this geometry, I think like we, we, we can allow right turn on red, uh, but they have to yield to the, yield to the oncoming traffic. Um, and then that's kind of uh, um, the timing power component of this will be like, uh, done by the um, uh, city tra tra traffic signal group. So I think we, pr we need to coordinate with them and what's their plan for uh, right turn and red there. But the geometry kind of allows, I think it's going to simplify than what we have out there currently. Thank you. Thank you. So we have some comments on chat. I saw them popping up here. Can anyone read those questions? Mm -hmm. I have a question. Oh, I'm so sorry. Somebody, I'm sorry. Uh, somebody wanted to see the slide for Horn and Camp Bowie. That may be an old one. Sorry, go right ahead. Okay. When, yeah, I'm when, sure. when you come out on the 6th of July to show this and discuss this, could you possibly extend it out maybe an extra sh um, street so that I can see Curzon where I have a business right there at Curzon and Horn because I would like to understand how this is going to affect my restaurant sitting there on that corner and how much trouble it's going to be for customers to get to me. The meeting on July 6th, we will, I think we can bring an exhibit for this uh, improvements too, but we will be showing the improvements starting here at Lowell on Horn going south till West Weekly. So we will show on how, what, what improvements we are making along um, your business area, like Kazan and um, on. I didn't understand what you said about Kurzon. So we will be showing you on that day on what, what are the proposed improvements in that area. Okay, because I guess I just wanna make sure these improvements that we're looking at today I can see that very next street because all that traffic going and coming and how you are improving that street is rerouting customers that come to that restaurant that sits on Curzon. So I just kind of wanted to see just an extension of the next street so that I can better understand how, how this is going to affect my business. So we'll do that. Thank you. Have any more questions? 
Will this slide deck be available online? Uh, prior to the meeting, I know somebody's requested the extension of an additional uh, street, but when would we have access to this online? This is Laura. I am our communications person. I will be sure that if you would like to receive this, I can send you the recording from tonight and then we'll get the slides over to you. So I don't have emails from when you sign up. So I'm going to give you my email and um, cell phone in the chat or Shweta's um, information, if you want to email her and she'll send it to me, is on the mailers. But um, let me go ahead and put my info in the chat and then I'll be sure whoever would like to receive that, that we send it to you. Thank you. Why do I don't see any more questions in the chat? Anyone like does any of the call calling users have any questions about the project? No, I'm good. Um, I see a message from Patrick. Isn't Dexter doing improvements on I think he's already the comment? Laura, can you um, read that comment in the chat? Oh, yes, sorry. And I do see another one as well. Um, is TxDOT doing improvements on I-30 as well? And will those changes be happening at the same time? So we are not aware of any projects that's on I-30 from TxDOT, but I'll reach out to TxDOT to see if we have anything going on. So I'm not currently aware of anything um, going on right now. Yeah, so uh, I think there is uh, some schematic developer I-30, um, but which kind of stuff just short of the Horn Street intersection. But oh, okay. I'm, I'm not sure there's like form schedule TechStart has for the construction on that yet, but I could be wrong. So I know there's some schematic develop, but I'm, I don't know they have the fixed construction schedule for that yet. Okay. Again, this is Laura, you guys. I have new contacts over at the TechStart with their uh, communications group, so I'd be happy to reach out and ask them or put you all in touch with them since that is not our department, but that we can get you in touch with them too. Thank you, Laura. Textot also proposed a mill and overlay project for Cambui Boulevard a while ago, but currently um, there. Their timeline for construction was somewhere around 2025, but they have moved it for a couple of years now. So I am not the new construction schedule, so we can look into that too. The other question I think I missed was also from Patrick about what is the red and the median at Bryant Urban? And I don't know if you maybe already covered that. After the Bryant Urban one. So everything in red would be the new proposed shape of the median opening here. So the current median that's shown here, it's under lane right now under the left turn lane that we show the dedicated left turn lane here for the westbound traffic. So we will be modifying the existing median um, at that additional left turn lane. And the other red that I could see is here that would be a splitter island for a driveway uh, to align the traffic going in and out of driveway here for the jack-in-the-box property. We are also modifying the pork chop island here on the southwest corner. Is it grass or concrete or brick? So it will be concrete. Anyone else have any questions? I think that is what we are planning for. Abhishek, let me know if I'm wrong. The median area on Cambui and Bright Urban. Uh, Shweta, I can speak on that uh, since Trent's not here. So, yeah, uh, it should be all concrete 
for mm -hmm. Spudder Islands and the pork chop and the median. It's just gonna be a, it's it's gonna look like brick, but it's just gonna be stamped concrete with kind of that red finish. We'll proposing on that. And the question, why not grass like it is? Um I think like the, um, I mean, we, we can discuss this further, but I think like the, the one, the thought was, I mean, this uh, median is going to get like a shrink, a, li a very small size now. So I think the, the grass may not grow well enough and then they may not have enough ir irrigation and stuff. So it's probably hard to maintain that. It's hard grass, to maintain but... too, yeah. Thank you, Dorothy. I will be sure that to email you the information. Thanks. Do we have any further questions? Not again, this project, uh, this meeting was recorded and we will have this recording on the project website. And if anyone needs the presentation to share it with the residents or the neighbors, they can always email me that the, my email ID is there on the that we sent out. And I apologize again on I mean, sending out the mailers late for this meeting, but for the next meeting, we'll really plan on sending it like two weeks before the meeting so that everyone could get it in time. Um, and with that, I thank you all for joining the meeting this evening.